Hey, I'm Will. Thanks for joining me. I'm here at my home studio and I've been recording a bunch of free guitar lesson videos. Release a bunch already and I got more coming for you. And they're for all you people out there just like you who are learning guitar online. So what I got are all the cures to the common mistakes that a guitarist is gonna make from learning right here on YouTube. So today, what I wanna talk to you guys about is your right hand. Where do we put it? Um, your right hand stability, okay? So I'm gonna show you three different stability points on three different style of guitars. So we're gonna talk about a Gibson, a Fender, and an acoustic, and that should give you the rundown for pretty much all guitars. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be the, uh, the guitar doctor today. I'm gonna show them from your point of view. So let's spin this around and check it out. All right, so we're talking about where we put our right hand, okay? So a lot of people have the tendency of floating, okay? So no stability, okay? And I'm telling you, it's so easy to hit a wrong string when you're doing that method and just being sloppy because you have no stability, you're just, you're just floating, okay? And now a lot of people have a tendency of putting their fingers down or maybe one finger, and a lot of people don't even know that they do this, okay? So maybe just play a couple of, like a single note line. I'm just going one, two, three, four with that one, uh, my one, two, three, fours with my fingers. And just freeze and have a look at your right hand, see what you're doing. Are you doing anything? Are you, uh, are you just floating? Do you got fingers down, multiple fingers? Are you resting over here on the bridge? Like, what are you doing, okay? So what I'm gonna suggest is using this part of your hand, okay? Either the hand pillow or like right, uh, right in here. By the way, this is a hand pillow. <laughs> and you're gonna get down on, on the bridge here. So on a Gibson style bridge, we got our bridge and we got our tailpiece, okay? So what I use is my, oh, hello. Um, <laughs> I, get, I use my, my hand here to sit on that bridge. I'm gonna show that to you nice and close up. So I use that little crease of my hand and I got it in on the bridge resting right there. So what that does is it just relieves any kind of tension from your shoulder and you just got nice solid stability. So when you're playing a single note line, again like that one, two, three, four, Thing. It's just really solid and no problems. Okay, so now let's talk about a different style bridge. So let's grab my fender here. So the Mustang bridge is a little bit different, but uh, this is pretty similar to a Telecaster or a Strat or something similar to that. So there's a couple of different ways you can do it here. Um, again, you can do the exact same thing like on, on a Gibson style bridge using this section of your hand, getting on this, this bridge section. Okay, that works great. So again, one, two, three, four. And I got that hand resting down nice and solid. Okay, another thing you can do is also, and I'm gonna talk about this on the acoustic guitar here in a second, is using this hand pillow to just rest right on the, the pick guard or like the, uh, just the guitar's wood. And that's, uh, that's gonna create nice solid stability, no more wrong notes, no more problems. So let's talk about last, but certainly not least, the acoustic guitar. So now you probably remember from one of my other videos that uh, I've been talking about strumming on this end of the sound hole. And if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Uh, that's my strumming video. So again, with picking, we wanna, we wanna get the same thing. We wanna get nice warm notes. We wanna be able to pick around here. And so here comes the hand pillow again. Get this guy down right around here, right around like the back end of the sound hole. And that's gonna line up your hand nice and close to the, uh, the, um, the neck and the front end of the sound hole. So, so what, then when we go through that again, my jacket was just kind of muting the notes there, but, uh, but yeah, so then we get that nice stability. We're in the front of the sound hole, we get nice warm notes. So 
I'm gonna be releasing more videos like this. Until then, keep on ripping it up.